Hey guys, it's William here. So one of the things I get asked a lot by everybody is what are some things to look out for when you're looking to hire an SEO or what are some of the common myths, if you will? So we're going to be going over that, especially what to look out for, especially when you're looking to hire someone because there are a lot of quote unquote course sellers or people that get you in webinars and you would think that they know what they're talking about. But when you look a little bit closer with these tips I'm going to get you, you're going to find out it's a bunch of BS. Hey guys, this is William here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what the SEO gurus don't want you to know. That's right. What do the SEO gurus not wanting you to know? We're going to be talking about that today. What is it? Why? Etc. If you're new to this channel, my name is William, and in today's video, that's what we're going to be discussing. If you're new, please make sure to hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification, because you're not going to want to miss anything we talk about here, because we talk about everything from SEO to how to start a business, how to make money, you know, to getting your mindset right, all types of things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So there are things that the SEO gurus do not want you to know. And I've made a list of them. And here they are after 20 years of SEO experience. This is what I would tell you as a business owner myself, speaking to business owners, all right? Much of what is known as SEO is really common sense, right? Most SEOs want you to think that there's some hack or some secret that you must know that only they can give you, right? Are you serious? When I say much of SEO is common sense, this is what I mean. For example, if you want to know how to rank in the top three where your competition is at, look at what they're doing. What type of content do they have? What's their internal structure look like? What's their backlinking profile look like? you know, press releases, blog posts, and then GMB posts, category of GMB, etc. I got you now, SpongeBob. It doesn't take brain science, unlike what most gurus or SEO experts would have you believe, right? That's number one. Number two, most SEO gurus or experts out there would have you to believe that they only have the information you need and they spent so many years in school and once they have that information, you can only get it from them. What? But the reality is, for example, myself, I self-taught myself. I never went to school to learn SEO. That's number one. But the most part, you can't go to school. There's no real quote unquote school to learn SEO, except the school of hard knocks and experience, right? So when most of them tell you, for example, you only get it from them, they are actually telling a fib, right? Or bold faced lie. <laughs> the reality is they're going to be constantly learning on a daily, monthly, yearly basis, SEO, if they're any good, right? That's the second one. Third, first search results, and you're going to hear this a lot, is never guaranteed. But the reality is, and this is what I say as a professional, if you're a professional, you can guarantee rankings. Maybe not the first spot, maybe, maybe not the second or third, but you'll be able to guarantee page one results if you know what you're doing. Because here's what happens with experience. The more experience you get, the more better you get at predicting the results. Wow. Hear that again. The more experience you have, the more reliable you can become in giving predictions of results with working with you or your processes. The less experience someone has, the less they can predict what will happen. And here's why I say that. Because when you get the typical guru or an SEO or a freelancer and they cannot predict results, that tells me 
They are not confident in their experience. They are not confident in their processes. That's a lot of damage. I've been doing SEO for 20 years of SEO, and I can tell you, for example, my 20 years experience, I can tell you, for example, I can get you to page one, and I can get you to there in this amount of time based off of information I receive, such as the niche, the population, the area, okay? what efforts we're putting forward. And the other thing that I do is I guarantee results. Most people just guarantee results. I go, listen, if I can't get you there in said time, I will do your SEO for free until you are there. <laughs> yeah, boy. Right? That's one of the other differences. A lot of experts or gurus won't do that. But someone like me will put their money where their mouth is, okay? The next one. You'll have a lot of SEO gurus out there guaranteeing instant results. Instant results. In other words, they take a keyword and they get you instantly result, instant rankings on page one. Well, what they're not telling you and a lot of them, especially a lot of them on YouTube will do, is they'll sit there and they'll go find a keyword, if you will, that has very low competition. Well, one of the things you have is a problem with a lot of these tactics is it's low competition and low traffic. What you're wanting to look for is something that is low competition, but medium traffic in other words i'm still getting a good amount of traffic for it but it's not low traffic and it's not too hard we call this the keyword golden ratio okay here's another one you will all you will not always have to do seo i remember this one you'll not always have to do seo you need to do seo so you don't have to do pay per click that's true. <laughs> this is another bunch of horse crap okay you will always have to do SEO whether that be a blog post or that be some citations or links or backlinks or whatever you will always have to do some form of SEO so if an SEO comes along and says hey you don't need to do pay-per-click because you could do SEO with me because you'll never always have to pay for SEO that's once again a lie it's crap okay next they only do white hat they don't do black hat well let me tell you something in google's eyes if you're doing anything and i mean anything to build backlinks you are black hat If you're only doing internal page structure and building content and nothing else, you're white hat. But if you're building backlinks, citations, press releases, any of that, you are black hat and maybe gray hat at best. I don't believe in these terms. I personally believe that these are terms that people use to try to say us versus them this is why you should go with us because we're the goody little two-shoe white hatters it's bullshit okay <laughs> next one being on page one you're going to get a lot of phone calls this is another lie that the gurus like to tell you the fact is just because you're on page one or even in the top three doesn't mean you're going to get phone calls here's what has to do with phone calls what separates your business from every other plumber? What separates how you do things away from everybody else? What's your hook? What's your story? What's your offer? No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Your hook is how you get someone's attention. How you do a pattern interrupt, okay? That's your hook. Your story is why should I work with you? What's different? Are you a vet? Do you have more experience? Case studies, right? And then what's your offer? What's different from you from everyone else? And I don't mean, are you the cheapest? Dan Kennedy said, either be the cheapest or most expensive. There's two problems, right? 
most people just ah oh, let me keep dropping my price dropping my price well here's what happens you're going to end the end of the barrel before long if that's what you're trying to do either be the best or be the worst i prefer to be more expensive right because i am better at what i do i can guarantee results and i know what i can deliver the only reason i'm even minutely cheaper is because i live in the philippines okay so now that all being said if i was to give you my input if you will on what to look for when looking to hire someone that knows seo here they are see it. references and not simply some reviews on google or facebook or any of that why do i say that because most of these people buy their reviews that's right they buy their reviews a lot of times it's illegal to buy reviews right you're not supposed to and google can slap you for doing it right slap! so that's not a guarantee that they know what they're doing get references by references i mean phone numbers and names people that they have worked with in the past and are currently working with that they can physically pick up a phone and ask hey can you tell me about so and so and their seo services most of them will wind up being like oh no 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 no, i can't do that because i got a non-disclosure agreement red flag number one run right number two get before and after results what do i mean by before and after results i want to see geo grids where were they ranking before they worked with them where are they ranking after they work with them and even more so where are they ranking months after they've stopped doing their seo right number two on top of that as far as results is get phone call graphs has their phone calls increased or is it decreased right then finally but not least ask how many clients they are currently working with how many clients are they currently working with not their students not how many if you will course students they have i myself have thousands of course students okay but i have hundreds of clients and thousands of clients that i can give people right these things right here will separate the gurus or what people perceive as gurus from legitimate agencies or business owners okay if they tell you i have a non-disclosure agreement and i can't share this with you run if they say i can't give you the keyword in the city run because a lot of them will say i don't want to give you this information because a non-disclosure agreement run because it's bs that's some old bullshit if they're showing the same especially on youtube if they're showing the same client that they've had or the same website over and over and over again in every little webinar they're doing they're probably an seo guru you should probably not do business with them because they've never ran an agency they've never actually done the seo themselves and at worst they're liars so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Cat. was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by 